Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to explain about what CSS is, cascading style sheet. So if you haven't had any experience with CSS, this video may help you understand the basic structure of CSS and how it works uh, with HTML. You may also want to visit my previous videos about HTML basics. Uh, I will make a link on the bottom of my uh, screen, so maybe you can visit. And please don't forget to subscribe and set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so um, before we <clears throat> start, I want you to prepare uh, three images. Uh, so what I did, I prepared the one of my selfie, and then the image size is... Um, Three hundred pixel by three hundred pixel, the square, and then uh, so I saved as a JPEG, and also I <clears throat> created the one uh, animated GIF file using my selfie. So I explained about this process um, uh, in my previous video. So um, uh, I made a link on the bottom of my screen, so you will see uh, how to make this type of animated GIF file, and I saved this file as an animated GIF, and also. Uh, I made uh, one kind of a big title uh, for uh, my name, <clears throat> and then um, the image size is 600 pixel uh, by something. Let me see, 600 by 85. So that's mine. Okay, okay, and then I save this file for the transparent ping file. So save for web, and I saved as the ping 24 and transparency. Okay, so once you're done, uh, here is a kind of a basic settings. So this is my uh, root folder. I named it as a root number two because I have so many roots. So um, root number two. So in your root folder, first uh, create the images folder and have all the, uh, those three images, one selfie.jpg, one selfie.gif, anywhere you give file, and one name.png. Also, please create in the one CSS file uh, for nothing. Okay, and then we're going to create this index.html uh, using brackets. Uh, that looks like this. Um, if you don't have a brackets, you can use on any other uh, HTML editors, even the simple text, I mean the text editor, uh, or the Dreamweaver, or uh, Text Wrangler. Uh, what is notepad, uh, it really doesn't matter. So uh, I will uh, copy this whole, the entire code, HTML code, um, in my description, so maybe you can use it. Uh, this is a really, really basic uh, HTML. HTML, and then uh, my pages, and there are three images, and one table. So um, let's see how it works. So uh, let me save it. I will save it to uh, my root folder which is root number two. Um, let me replace it, because I saved it already. Okay, so let's take a look how it looks like. I'm going to open it uh, from my web browser. Okay, so this is mine. My kind of really rough, uh, not fancy uh, personal website. My name on it, on top. Art, design, and life. Maybe this is kind of my slogan. And then um, my two JPEG and animated GIF. This is a transparent pink file. And then uh, my favorite things. And then and on the table. Okay. So maybe you can just copy the code I wrote. Okay. And then let's say this is a really, really basic, maybe a kind of a boring. Uh, it looks more like a kind of a skeleton. So that's what HTML does. It will uh, build kind of basic structure like a skeleton of your page. So now we're going to give kind of a little more fancy styles. So let's say um, uh, different styles of address for the uh, meeting, for the conference meeting, for the interview, or for uh, activities, or for the um, um, kind of a different sports event. So may, you may have kind of several different styles. So um, the plan is, uh, I'm going to use the CSS. So that's what we're going to write. And then 
uh, we're going to make a link from your CSS to HTML document to change the style. So why don't I do this? This is my personal web page, and then I want to have the kind of four different styles, one for the uh, spring, summer, fall, and the winter. Okay, so let's do that. So just, just to keep this, and then, okay, so let's create a new document, and this will be a CSS. So I'm going to save it first as, uh, this is for the spring. So uh, let me go to uh, my um, root number two and CSS. There's nothing yet. So let me save as a spring.css. Okay. So CSS here. And then let me start typing. So first, uh, I want to have a different background. Okay. So starting with, I'm sorry, my body and type the selector and then in this selector I'm going to have the background image. So let's do this. Uh, what I'm going to do is in my Photoshop I'm going to have some kind of a tiled image uh, for my background. So let me create a new file. Uh, let me have a kind of a little bit uh, different ones. So um, 5 pixel width by maybe on 1200. It's going to be really, really skinny and the long uh, and tall image. So let me close my timelines panel. Okay, so spring. I'm going to have a really simple background like um, from green, really light green. To white. So uh, let me choose my uh, gradient tool. I'm going to uh, maybe something like this. So it is very subtle. You can see that. But um, see, from green to white. So let me save it for web, export as uh, save for web, and just to save as a JPEG medium uh, quality, that would be fine. It's really tiny. Save it to. We're going to save it to um, in CSS folder, not images folder, because this image will be linked to your CSS. So uh, I will save this one as spring underscore BG, spring background. Okay. And I'm going to save the three more. So uh, spring, summer, let me try blue. Maybe like this. Okay. So command option shift S, save for web, save as. This time, summer underscore BG dot JPG. Now fall, kind of orange a little bit more. Maybe a little more. Okay. Then save for web again. Save it. This time I'm going to save it as fall underscore bg.jpg. And the last one is going to be winter, so I'm going to choose just a black. No gray. Black is too dark. Light gray. Maybe like this. Okay, save for web. I still see that kind of little orange there, so I'll, let me do this. Let me select all. Let me fill in white again first. In white. Okay. And let me apply this gradient again. Maybe a little more. 
Okay. Let me save for web again and then save it as winter underscore bg.jpg. Okay. Now let's go back to CSS. So as I made the other four different images, skinny images for my background, I'm going to have my background first for the spring, spring style. Background, oops, background image. And we're going to make a link. URL, this time the first one is going to be spring, bg, and period, semicolon. So my body is done. And then for my uh, heading 1, let's take a look. So um, heading is the answer, it's all black text, which is okay, but um, I want to have some kind of little bit uh, different color. So back to here. Uh, let me make a break another line. My H1 heading want to have text color. I want to have the kind of a green color. Let me try blue. Oh, let me try blue. Yep. And then semicolon. So H1 is okay. Now, H2, selector, break the line. Uh, I want to have maybe um, color uh, for the uh, spring heading number two. Uh, why don't I, let me just keep using this just red uh, for that, red, and semicolon. Okay. Now, also I want to have the different text color for my um, table information in here. Okay. Also, I want to change it to some styles. So, table selector. I want to change the font first. Font family. Uh, I want to have Arial or Helvetica. or any sans serif and semicolon also I want to have a different uh, color as well color want to have purple and semicolon okay so um, I think this is done so uh, let me save it again Okay, so um, it is saved as the spring.css. Okay, so problem is in this code, this is just a pure HTML, so it doesn't know how to link to um, this spring style yet. So let's do this. Um, <clears throat> in your head tag area, after title, break the line from here, we're going to link it to um, the spring.css document. So, link rel equal stylesheet and the type is as a text CSS file and then href, this is for the linking equal uh, we're going to link it to um, under CSS and spring CSS this one and close your brackets so that's it let me save it so what's gonna happen is uh, without HTML document I mean that without uh, the link to on the CSS uh, document is pretty plain on a white background and black text only. Now let me refresh this. See, I have a spring theme, spring style. 
kind of a, a the green background tile and then a text color is this and then also I change this uh, what is this um, <clears throat> the style the font family okay so this is spring C uh, CSS okay now uh, no let me change this uh, instead of a blue I want to have a green let me have a dark green save it again let me refresh my page so it looks better so this is my spring theme now let me create another one uh, for summer I'm going to import summer background.jpg and then a color text color uh, for the summer I want to have a uh, blue or dark blue and everything will be the same let me save this CSS save as this time I'm gonna save as summer.css save it okay let's do more for the fall .jpg and then um, heading one text color uh, want to have maybe I'm brown and I will leave everything as it is and now save this one as fall.css okay now last one winter background and then uh, color um, gray but I want to have a light really dark the dim gray okay so everything looks fine and let me save it save as this time as a winter dot CSS okay so now let me take a look at the uh, my CSS folder I have fall, spring, summer, and the winter uh, CSS. That means there are four different sets of clothing, four different styles. One for the fall, one style for the spring, one style for the summer, and another style for the winter. So let me go back to my index. I will just need to change this name from spring to summer. Summer CSS. Save it and let's see how it works. So this is a spring. This is summer, right? You see the difference? Let me change on another time on another one. Spring, summer, winter. The CSS. Save it. Let me refresh. It's winter. It's a cold. And fall. Fall. That's CSS. Save it. Let me refresh. Now this is fall. Okay. So once you have the other several different sets of a style sheet, style that CSS, then you can link it externally like we did uh, in your root folder and then um, it's much kind of easier and more manageable and then uh, once you need to change any kind of your contents then you can just visit your index.html and just change the text you don't have to worry about the color or the styles or the background images because everything is controlled in your CSS file okay so I hope this uh, video helps you um, understand the, um, how CSS works with HTML externally. Okay, thanks for watching and see you next time.